Welcome to the Volkswagen family. You wanted a driver's car, and with your new Jetta, you've got one. You've chosen a distinctive German-engineered sedan, offering a unique blend of performance, safety, features, function, and value. Once you experience the feel of Jetta on the road, we're sure you'll be a Volkswagen driver for life. In the next few minutes, we'll look at features found on most Jetta models. Some features may be optional or unavailable on your specific vehicle. Please consult your owner's manual for detailed information on your Jetta. With your new Jetta, you received two folding master keys with remote control, which operate all locks and the anti-theft alarm system. To fold out the key, simply press the button. To lock all of Jetta's doors and activate the alarm, turn the key to the right locking position. If your Jetta has power windows and a power sunroof, they will close automatically when you hold the key in the locking position. When everything is locked, a flashing red light on the driver's door sill and a beep will tell you the alarm is set. Using the key to unlock your Jetta is just as easy. To unlock only the driver's door, just turn the key once to the left. To unlock all the doors, turn the key twice. In models with power windows, you can lower the windows by turning the key to the left and holding it until the windows are open to the desired position. With Jetta, you also have the convenience of remote control. With the press of a button, you can lock the doors and set the alarm. Unlock the rear lid. Unlock the driver's door and fuel filler flap. Or unlock all doors. The remote also includes a panic button for emergencies. When pressed, it activates the horn and flashes the headlights. The valet key you received operates only the doors and ignition lock. It does not allow access to the trunk or lockable rear seats. If you need to replace any of your Jetta's keys, the key identification tag has your specific code. Store it with other vehicle documents in a safe place. For maximum protection and vehicle control, always position yourself correctly behind the wheel. First, be sure the upper edge of the head restraint is at eye level or above. If so equipped, use the optional power seat controls to tailor both driver and passenger seats. Use this switch to move the seat forward and backward, to raise or lower the seat at the front, and to raise or lower the seat at the rear. Pressing the switch this way raises or lowers the whole seat. This switch adjusts the backrest. Move it forward for a more upright position and to the rear for more recline. Adjust lumbar support by turning the wheel in the backrest. With Jetta's standard seats, you can tailor both driver and passenger seats by turning the wheel at the base of the seat to adjust recline and by lifting the lever in front to move forward and backward. To adjust driver and passenger seat height, simply ratchet this lever up or down. The point is to position your seat so that you can push the pedals easily all the way, keeping your knees slightly bent. Your Jetta is also equipped with an adjustable steering column. Push the lever down to unlock the column. Move the steering wheel in and out, positioning it for driving comfort yet as far from your chest as possible. Sit as upright as possible, holding the steering wheel at the 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock positions with your elbows slightly bent. Your Jetta features front safety belt height adjusters to help ensure your safety belt fits properly. First, pull the shoulder belt over your body and lock it securely into the belt anchor. To adjust the belt, simply press the handle slowly up or down to a position that places the belt midway over your shoulder, never against your neck. The lap belt should be worn low and tight across the pelvis. Once comfortably seated behind the wheel, 
you'll notice Jetta's gauges are clear and simple to read, and controls are within reach and easy to use. For instance, if your Jetta is equipped with a power sunroof, simply rotate the dial for the desired tilt, open, and closed position. Interior lights are just as versatile. Move the dome switch to the left to turn the light on. Leave it in the center position and the light remains off. Move the switch to the right and the light comes on only when the doors are open. It stays on briefly and then fades out when you turn the key in the ignition. Driver and front passenger reading lights are turned on and off by pressing each switch. Your Jetta may be equipped with power side mirrors. To set the mirrors perfectly for you, first adjust the left mirror, then fine tune the right one. All Jetta models feature an easy to use heating and cooling system, easily accessible from the driver's seat. The knob on the left adjusts the temperature. Turn it right for warmer and to the left for cooler. The center knob activates the system and controls fan speed. The right knob controls the direction of the airflow. Turn it to the far right to turn on the defroster. Close all dashboard vents to get stronger airflow from the defroster or the floor vents. The air conditioning and recirculation buttons are below the control knobs. For maximum cooling, depress both buttons at the same time. Use recirculation only with air conditioning. Using it with a heater may cause condensation and fogging. Your Jetta may be equipped with the Climatronic Automatic Climate Control System. The buttons around the display operate the system's controls. The display tells you system status. Press the Auto button to operate the system in the automatic mode. For temperature control, press the red button for warmer air, the blue button for cooler air. The button in the upper left corner controls the windshield defroster. The bottom left button controls air recirculation. To disable or enable outside air recirculation, press and press again. The next two buttons control fan speed. Press the left button to decrease fan speed, the right button to increase fan speed. The next two buttons control airflow to either the dash and floor or to the dash only. And the button on the far right operates the system in the Econ mode. For complete system operation, see your Jetta owner's manual. If your Jetta is equipped with heated front seats, they can be heated separately to the desired temperature by rotating either thumb wheel. Your Jetta may be equipped with power windows. To operate the windows in a manual mode, Lift the switch up one notch and hold until the window has reached the desired height. To lower the window in the manual mode, push the switch down one notch and hold. To operate the windows in the automatic or one-touch mode, simply lift the switch past the first notch, hold it briefly, and release. To open the windows with one touch, push the switch down past the first notch. Jetta also features an AM-FM stereo cassette sound system. To program the radio preset buttons, select the band you want, either AM, FM1, or FM2. Then tune the radio to the desired station and press one of the memory buttons. Hold it until you hear an audible signal and the program is muted. Repeat the process to program all of the buttons. Your radio has been coded to protect it against theft and tampering. The code is located on the radio code card which you received at delivery. Remember to keep it in a safe place. Whenever the ignition key is removed, a blinking red light warns others that your radio is coded and useless if removed. If there is a loss of power to the radio, you'll need to recode it. Simply turn the radio on and the word SAFE will appear, followed by the number 1000. Then use the first four station buttons to punch in the number on your radio code card. Now press the right side of the Seek button until you hear an audible signal. Your radio is now coded and will work again. You may your radio is now coded. Congratulations. Why am I blurry? What's this all about? Aha! Uh -huh. I was all stretched out. 
We visible. I. Oh, we got more gob over teams to me. Why aren't you spending your channel points in the poll rather than on the gobos? What's this all about, huh? Don't you believe in democracy? You're shilling your money away to capitalism to purchase strange little creatures. I gotta put my window over there, my stream window, you see, not a window window, not the type that you open and bring air through on the Volkswagen Jetta. Why did I type Gibbo several times while trying to put Gobbo into the fucking... All right, who we got here? Hoi, howdy, Hoskin, hello. Idle, howdy, Aria, hello. Other Aria, hello. I, uh, uh, how do I, what, what do I do now? There's, <laughs> there's two of them. Oh no. <laughs> Gubbles, hello. Uh, Doinks, hello. Uh, we got, I can't, I can't say, okay, Oreo's pretty good. Oreo's pretty good. I'll think about that. Um, we're playing Parasite Eve today, um, which is a video game for the PlayStation. Developed by Square, you know, those guys who did the Final Fantasy or something, or so I hear. Uh, they got silly things happening in this game. Like, um, body horror, I've been told. I've never played this. I've booted it up for about five minutes several years ago. I was like, this plays funny. Uh, so I'm sure it'll be fine now. Let's start up the PlayStation. I've read the majority of the Parasite Eve book, so I have a vague understanding of what Parasite Eve is all about, but... Not a whole lot. Game is a sequel to Final Fantasy VII, you are correct. All right, let us launch the Steve video game. Uh, Power Slave, right? That's what we're playing. That's my impression of the PlayStation boot up. I'm sure you're like, why is the PlayStation boot up noise playing twice? But one of them was me. That's that's why that happened. I hope we get a good opening video. Wow, the People seem to agree on the Taco Bell Mexican pizza just being a taco that fell apart. I made this claim and my life was threatened, so thought I should confirm that I'm not wrong about it if I'm gonna die about it. Square Soft. The Parasite Eve music is incredibly good, by the way. I'm just gonna turn the stream on. Oh my god, she's crying! Blood! Or copper, perhaps? Resonance! Rat! Whoa! Fusion! 
frenzy. Dinosaurs. Selection. With code on the side that I don't think is a real language. Chair tilted on its side but not quite fallen over. Hidea from Final Fantasy VIII. Conception! Is the name of a different video game. Whoa! Evolution? In my video game? Liberation Maiden. The maiden voyage of that ship wasn't so liberating, was it? The worst foe lies within the self. P.E. Gym class. Hearing, hello? Parasite Steve. I'll press the start button. Um. Oh wow, I use the analog stick to select menu options. That's a new one. I guess that's only if analog is on though? Let me check the case and see what this says. Let's see what this says about this. Oh my god, the case isn't out here. I'll be back in three seconds. The scariest part of Parasite Eve so far is that my copy obviously belonged in a smoking household and it smells very strongly. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I guess I was going to check the manual here. Huh? I don't know why I was like, oh, you know, the manual will tell me about when this game was released in terms of when the dual shock was being introduced but that's stupid that's not true okay well kind of is because the manual refers to the analog controller i think it would call it the dual shock if the dual shock was out but i'm it's very strange to me that the uh uh, D-pad doesn't work on the menu because it says directional buttons select menu commands, even on analog. Bizarre! Well, worst case, I'll turn off analog if I so need to. Wow, 13 people say the Taco Bell Mexican pizza is just a taco that fell apart. Crazy! I tried to use the D-pad again. <laughs> Um, I feel like, I never know if I should select the tutorial in games that have it, because half the time they just have the tutorial in the game. Let's just try going in the new game. We'll consult the manual if need be. Let me know if the game is too loud. That is my mic, not the game. I am adjusting it. Okay, we saw this before. The Statue of Liberty is getting wet and leaking copper bits all out of her eyes. I'll not do it again, thank you. This is a uh, New York. I've never been here, but I've seen it in the movies. Um, it's 1997, Christmas time. And the Circle Conference is in town. Oh, 
All right, let's see what's happening on this eve. Oh, there she is. It's our main character who I forgot the name of. Please tell me her name right away. I need to know in order to decide what I think about her. I judge all people by their names and nothing else. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Oh, well. Oh, it's Aya Brea. <laughs> Aya Brea is, does not have a good sound to it. I, why did her parents go with Aya if her last name's Brea? Is it Bria? Aya Brea? Is it a strange pun of some kind? Anyway, she's an NYPD officer, age 25, and yes, ladies, she's single. Um... Okay, yeah, I cannot select menu options with the D-pad when analog is on, so I'm turning it off for now. Maybe I'll turn it on later. Uh, death. We got a razor defense. Oh, default. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you're right. I'll try to have more fun. Nothing more fun than the opera. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? <laughs> I even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. <laughs> what a loser. So lighten up, we're gonna have a great time, you'll see. Okay, I can walk around now. Let's see. Ah, I do like the analog movement. It's so smooth compared to the d-pad. Please take your seats, the show is about to start! Um, this seems to be my running speed, regardless of what I press. Uh, we have a RPG style menu, we have... I guess that's HP in the corner, I thought it said MP, but it's, it's HP. Um, can't select anything else, can I? Oh, I can, but I just turned on analog. Can I change this somehow, please? No, it's not possible. It cannot be done. Oh my god. My favorite thing about uh, Square is their insistence that you should always be able to change the menu color on PlayStation games. Very bizarre option, looking back, but I really appreciate it. I'll leave it as is for now, though. Change armor, change weapon, use item, arrange items. Alright. Enjoyed the show! Come on, we'd better go inside. Why did I change his name? Your voice. I said name because I read chat. Oh, here's my beautiful boyfriend slowly turning around. Let's get to our seats. They've already got started on the first act. Already? Let's open this opera with uh Ayabrea Ayabrea <laughs> terrible name Oh my god they're performing Final Fantasy 9 Father please give me permission to marry Eva I forbid it! You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil. Grab her and burn her at the stake. Is it like a Fatal Frame Christmas sweater? 
father! If you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward, let us sing a song. After all, it is the opera. So beautiful. Also, the <laughs> singing is very quiet. <laughs> Whoa, would you look at that? She's real. That's a real woman. She's so... natural. <laughs> oh god, she's activating the mitochondria. Whoa! That's a pretty cool effect. I wonder how they pulled that off. Oh my god, everybody's exploding. Even your beautiful date, who I cared so much about. Oh my god. Yeah, we've all been here at the opera. Everyone starts combusting. It's kind of a dangerous place to be. I don't really know how it's been going for so many centuries. When so nearly every show, the opera house burns to the ground. But I guess it's that uh, performance of a lifetime. Oh, our boy is alive? What a shame. Jesus, I don't wanna- Oh my god! I... Oh wait, oh, Jesus, I don't- I don't wanna- Oh my god, I- Go, get out of here, now! <laughs> this fucking rams him. Oh, this is a run, all right. Look at her go. Wonderful gate. Can I go down this way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we can. She definitely doesn't seem like she's moving uh, too slow for the setting she's in, given her stride. Definitely not. Oh. Here we go. I'm on my way, don't run. NYPD, freeze. Hmm, you're the only one who seems to be fine. What? You should be awakening soon. What, what are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. They're calling out! Oh god, our attack meter's going up. That means we can shoot her with a bullet. Um, oh dear, I may need to do the tutorial after all. <laughs> What's happening? My body, it's, it's getting hot! I can't move, that's not true. Just as I thought. What is this? What did you do to me? Now I can move. Oops. I guess I should probably wait for her to attack and then shoot, huh? Miss! Right. Whoa! Our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating what? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you'll become like me. 
power? What power? Who are you? Eve? Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. What? I'm a mitochondria. <gasps> oh, there she is. It's little Aya. What? What is this? What was that? <laughs> Wait, th where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. Well, she's gone now. No recovering. All right, where are we heading? I guess she went to the left, not up the stairs. Did not recover health between battles, but I don't think I need to heal 45 just yet. I did use a lot of ammo, though. Hopefully I get some more soon. Maybe I should actually do the tutorial, but... We will see once I get to a save point. Woo! <laughs> I mean, I guess it would be hard to run in that dress, but it's... it's just... Looks very silly. Howdy, Cordelia. Did I say that? I know she's down there. Well, time to go. Sounds like my backups arrived. Forget about it. Oh, who are you? Are you alone? It's dangerous here. You should go. Uh oh. Okay, well, she's a ghost, so I guess we don't have to worry about her anymore. That girl, it couldn't be me! Can I just climb back up there? Iron rings on the side. Forget it. What do we have here? A spooky hallway. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's the rat! We saw this little guy. He's having a normal one today. He's just having a, having a ball. Doing rat things. Being a little guy. Oh, well, it's a little large all of a sudden, I think. Oh, dear. It's oozing liquid. Oh, my God. You're not a rat at all. You're an ant with four legs and a tail. That's what ants look like. Alrighty, well, I wonder how I select a club. Change weapon, perhaps. Uh, Aringe, hello? Combo the rat? Such a thing possible? Oh my god, I was not prepared for, like, the tri-horn attack, you know. Got him. What a weak rat. We got that rat. Okay, I can probably figure out what's happening without the, um, tutorial, right? Jesus, did Eve do that to the rat? What is going on here? Oh, you know, just rat things. What can I say? Oh, well, hmm. Looking awfully out of place, you know, you're all... 3D models and the rest of the room is pre-rendered. Whoa! We got a mirror again. 
Keep running into the PlayStation games with mirrors. I'm impressed. It looks really good in this. It actually reflects even the weapon you're holding and shit. Wow, that's a good looking mirror. Anything in here? Oh, jeez. I guess I figured out whose locker it is. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna keep rifling through your stuff. Oh, medicine. I love medicine. Fill me up with it. Oh, we got some medicine, I guess. You're still alive. Hold on. Let me call the paramedics. Melissa, she's a monster. Don't try to talk now. Melissa, Melissa, you mean the main actress. She probably got to Suzanne too. You'll have to stop her. No, please wake up. Hang in there. I really love the uh, concept of a horror game with pre-rendered environments. Does Resident Evil do that? Is that a common thing? Am I just silly? I have not really played many PS1 horror games, but I love pre-rendered environments in PlayStation games, so anything that uses those, I get excited. I get all tingly. Oh my god, here, take it, take everything, it's all on the counter. <laughs> Don't scare me, I'm with the NYPD. You're the one who scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. You know, only the staff are allowed in here. There was an incident here. You'll have to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya. <laughs> Confused Druid, hello. He's just a clown. Minding his business. Good for him. I still think we should have taken everything he has. Um... Just, you never know what useful stuff a clown might have, but... Oh, we got us another mirror. Okay, so... The lockers themselves don't reflect, which I guess isn't a huge surprise. I did get ammo there, hell yeah. Um... Rain, I got... I think I got plenty of ammo there. Yeah, this is a trash video game. Um, I can't believe they put this out to the market. Fucking mirror doesn't even work. The grass doesn't jiggle when I brush my thighs against it. What is this awful, awful video game? Oh, we got bugs on the ground or something? I don't know. What are these? Madison. Oh! Well, he didn't mean to do that, but sorry, sir. I'd better notify the department about what's happened here. Oh, is this the save? Yeah! Love me a good, silly save menu. Fruit basket is only a texture, not individually modeled fruits. Literally unplayable. So true. Oh wow, I love that save. Why does it move from off to on? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> okay, since we are here and all, I am gonna just restart the game so we can. Uh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see the tutorial since it seems like it'll be unique from what's in the game. I want to see what they have going on there. I want to see what they have happening. What? It's fun to see the tutorial. It's going to be all silly. It's going to be a ethereal place detached from reality where you can hone your skills and perform dubious acts. Like, kill rats, probably. Look, it takes like five seconds to restart a console. It's easy stuff, you know? You know what I'm saying? Doobie, what do you... All right. Oh, look, this is wonderful, actually. I love this. 
We got Aya in the background. How to use the controller. Move characters, select a message. Battle screen. Pause, restart, resume the game. Resume the game. Open the main menu. Open, open the menu. Talk to characters, open treasure boxes, execute dialogue, execute select a command, skip a command. Press while the character is moving and the character will run. Really? I did not think that was happening, but maybe that was during the silly bit. Close the menu window, cancel a command, etc. Yeah, they didn't even fucking show me a analog. Okay, never mind. Move left stick a little to walk and a lot to run. Okay, so they probably disable running for analog. Um, use analog mode, press the analog mode switch and the LED will turn red. When the LED is turned off, it'll be used the same way as a controller. Thanks. About icons. Tell me about icons, video game. Displays all the items you have. The items in use are indicated in blue. Enables you to use, discard, or move an item. Reload bullets. PE icon displays parasite energy <laughs> useful at your current level. It's like the PE with the directional button or use the left stick to use it. PE in gray indicates the PE gauge isn't sufficient or PE cannot be used at that location. Displays the information on all weapons in your inventory. Can view additional effects of each weapon and compare the equipped weapon to others in your inventory. Weapons can be switched in the field and during a battle. Armor icon displays the information on all armor in your inventory. Can view additional effects of each armor and compare armor. Armor. System icon adjusts sound, etc. Sword icon, you can sort. Tune-up icon. Using the tool item, you can add or remove parameters and added effects on your weapon or armor to create your customized equipment. Number of added effects can be attached. Can they could be attached to equipment is determined by the number of slots. You can increase the number of slots by getting your equipment modified at the NYPD weapons department. BP. When you gain a level, you get badge points. One badge point counts as one point and can be divided up between parameters and item capacity. The more damage taken during battle, less BP you will receive. About the battle screen. When you enter a battle, the AT, HP, and PE gauges are displayed. Avoid an enemy attacks using your directional buttons or left stick until the AT gauge fills up. The key is to keep enough distance to avoid being hit, but stay close enough to attack when your AT gauge is full. When the AT gauge is full, press the X button to get into attack mode. You're most likely to miss the enemy outside of the green hit range dome. Okay, so there's an actual point to the dome. You can select which enemy to attack by moving the red target mark to the left or right using the directional button or left stick. When the AT gauge is full, you can also select use an item. Open the menu screen with triangle button, select the item. You can also use the weapon or armor icon to switch equipment during battle. The mitochondria inside Aya's body give her special powers called Parasite Energy or PE. To use your PE, open the menu screen with the triangle button, select the PE you want to use, and use the PE. When you encounter an enemy, you can avoid battle by opening the menu screen with triangle and selecting s s escape. If the game is over, the game is over. Good to know. Alright, we know how to save, but let's just see what they have to say about it. So it turns out I learned the majority of it. Um, there were several types of phones in the game. Good thing we know that now. I love that they had a separate menu section for that. Also, tutorial is in quotes, because it's not really a tutorial. At least we learned about the wireframe dome and its purpose. From off to on, an Aya story. The user manual probably does contain further secrets. I'll peruse it offline. That's a parrot. What? What? Help, help. Wow, the parrot saying what that man said when he died. Or 
I don't know the gender of this charred corpse. I apologize to it. Drop an item here? I guess. I drop some medicine? Oh, you can just like put things in random chests, I guess. That's strange. I guess it's a storage type deal. Because you have limited items you can hold. It's locked! Aw, oh, jeez. Do I gotta get a key from somewhere? Hmm. I were a key, where would I be? Perhaps on a dead body? No? Okay. I'm gonna mash that X button. I have heard that this game I will probably need a guide for, but we'll see. And by we'll see, I mean we'll see how long until my patience wears thin. My patience, they decide they don't want to see me anymore because I'm still playing Parasite Eve. Oh, jeez, we got rats again. Where'd they come from? Ah! God is ass. Was that a random encounter? Wow, I leveled up. Obtain all items. I got a lot of items from that. Pretty exciting. I was already in here. Alright. Locked. 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 You got a key on you, sir? It's that clown from the dressing room. <laughs> How could you tell? I just, I, I see no defining features or characteristics that would suggest that was the clown, but... Um... Hmm... It seems weird to climb back up, because I don't think I'm gonna find the key here, but let's just let's just do it. Let's see what happens. Maybe our backups arrived, right? <laughs> Rancid clown vibes. Alright, well. Yes, we have nowhere to go. We cannot leave this stage. The show is not over. Mlumly in the chat kissing me. Oh wait, this is a box. Does this have a key? No, this is medicine. Same thing. Jump down. Welcome back to the stage of history. Two months, thank you. Making out. Why is my TTS British? I ask myself this constantly. It was a conscious choice I made, and I still question it to this day. Okay, so if the key's not in any of these rooms, where the hell is it? Maybe, do I just have it in my inventory after that fight, maybe? I don't know. I got a club, an ammo crate, I got a vest. Can I equip this vest? No, it's already equipped. Hmm. Oh, I have my PE gauge now. Thanks. I didn't have this before. I probably shouldn't have healed, but you know. Oh, I think I actually remember. There may just be a very tiny key texture on the ground that I have to find. I could be making that up. It's locked. Uh, 
Um, but let's just scan the ground for anything that could be a key real quick. Make sure. I'm not seeing a key anywhere. Hmm. Is this really the fastest I can run? It's even on D-pad. I don't have penis power, okay? I don't. No. Hmm. Maybe the parrot has the key. Parrots love to carry things around. Let's check that parrot out again. I should save again too, since I've leveled up. Wow, I love to level up. Oh, do you have the key? I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> well, the parrot settled down. Hey, what's up? No, you don't want to talk to me anymore? All right. All right. I just love calling NYPD headquarters to save. They're not like, hey, what's the situation with the, uh, exploding people? You're just calling in saying, hey. Uh, excuse me, coat rack. I have work to do. Use the key! Oh my god. Oh, it's a dressing room key. I see. So, now I can open all sorts of doors. Very exciting. Oh, it's another parrot? Why do they have so many parrots in this fucking place? Ammo. Why do they have bullets in the closet? Better question. Actually, no, I'm still more curious about the parrots. Merry, Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Bye. Oh! The parrot turned into a cockatoo! Oh no! Oh, sorry pal. We just murdered a parrot, I feel bad about it. That parrot belonged to someone. He was their friend. The parrot started it? I guess. Not wrong, but it doesn't feel good to shoot a parrot. Not some psychopath who goes around shooting parrots. They really are proud of their mirrors, too. <laughs> I still did it, okay? What, what option did I have? I guess I could have run from the battle, but... Um, I didn't think about that. Maybe I did want to kill the- A diary! November 3, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all that medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. Mmm, awfully suspicious. November 17th, the cast was announced, and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. <laughs> Middle school theater. <laughs> you were abusing pills to get the lead role in, uh... What's a play that a middle school puts on? Um... I don't... You, I, what's a... What's a middle school type play even I don't even know the music man sure I think I'm overdoing it my body is getting hotter than ever for some reason <laughs> I'd better take more medicine <laughs> damn I'm just taking hot pills I collapsed today I lost consciousness after my body got hot <laughs> HRT if you like I don't care if I die, I just want to get through this show. I passed out again. 
They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I'd better take a lot of medication tonight. I don't think it's working for you. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Score! Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God, forgive me. Looks like I'll be the lead. I'd better take more medication and work it. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Oh, that's why it's called Parasite Eve. I'm stupid. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert the next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I'd better shape up if I want to get through this. It's important! She's the, she's the lady trying to kill us! I'd better take more medication. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key? Rehearse key. That's the key you use to rehearse. I don't know if that's actually why it's called Parasite Eve, but it's certainly... If it's not, they definitely made it Christmas Eve because they thought it would be silly. They're like, oh, Parasite Eve, what if it was another Eve? Merry sight. Um, all these were locked, right? Mumley, if you had uh, the desire to wish someone a Christmas, you could say Merry Christmas, and it would mean two things. <laughs> I don't know if I'll let you know. No. Uh, I want these cups. What are these party cups about? Merry comes, miss. I don't know about that. Oh! Battle time. I don't know if I should be over here, you know? I feel like I should explore the other bits first. Also now, more parrots are here. This theater has a parrot problem as much as a rat problem. Oh dear! Ah, oh, jeez, those are hard to dodge. Bingo, bingo! Yeah, just try to get me parrot. That's right, you missed. Why did the bullet only do two damage? I'm level three now! Um, Let's head back. I don't want to accidentally progress the story before I've... Or I've done a... Done a silly... Then a silly scan line. I, what am I saying? Whatever. I mean, the first dressing room is just the clown room, right? Where the hell did that clown come from? I forget which room the clown was in. Oh, here's a parrot cage. That explains why one parrot is out and about. Surveillance camera? A maple raid. Maple, hello. How was, uh, Zelda 2 you're still playing, right? That's odd, this wall looks like it's about to crumble. Oh, it crumbled. Good for you, Eve. Or Aya. Uh, Raiders, hello, I'm Ren, I'm a Millipede Girl, we're playing Parasite Eve, we're right at the start, so you won't get spoiled if you're interested. Um, I hope, I hope you had fun with the, with the Zelda, Maple. Oh, I got an N protector to protect my N. Uh, oh, that's definitely an upgrade. Why does armor raise your critical rate? Bizarre. Give Ren a howdy something some other. Maple, 2022. Has Maple fled from the authorities due to Zelda crimes? Oh wow, my inventory is already full, huh? I guess I can probably just put this normal armor in there, right? Def increases defense power by one. Oh, and this will go in the slot, right? Uh, I, th I thought. Does that, is that not how it works? 
Uh, I guess not. But I thought these slots were things you put in. I guess this is... Okay, here we go. I figured it out. Don't worry, everyone. Wait, it's still not showing up there. Did I use it on the wrong armor? I think I did. <laughs> oh, dear. Wait, no, I put the other armor in here. So where's my silly thing that I used? I thought I used my silly thing. But it's not showing up in my silly things. Unless it attached the gun. No, it didn't. Weird. Maybe it's a permanent upgrade. I don't know. Where's my fucking silly thing? What do we have here? Oh, okay. So this room is all connected like the Tetris effect. Uh, let's try this. Wow, this is pretty limited inventory, huh? I got some medicine, though. What are they? I guess we're literally in a theater, so it's excusable to have weird pillars and shit back here, but... Just make sure they're not a fire hazard, okay? Wow, oh, they got Rome in here, even. I love Rome. I've never been to Rome. Don't don't listen to anything I have to say about Rome, to be honest. Oh, here we go. It's rat time. Oh, God! One rat down. One to go. Actually, zero to go because I gone now. The rat is gone, everybody. Don't worry. You can open your eyes again. The rat is gone. I'm gonna save again before our next confrontation. I have removed the rat. A tat tat. A buddy be back. Alright, let's see what old Eve's up to behind this door. Alright, her name is also Eve, I forgot. Not the main girl, but the, the creepy girl playing the piano here. They're really proud of their mirror tech. <laughs> I don't blame them, but... I'm Melissa. I'm... No! I'm... I... I am... I am... Eve! Oh, I'm getting hot! Oh, is she gonna burst into flames now? Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? Good old nucleic domination. Whoa! That was a perfectly good piano, and you ruined it. That was so expensive. What the fuck? Just because you're a mitochondria lady doesn't mean you can go smashing instruments. Yeah, she's got those PlayStation 1 titties. Once again. The day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived! Oh dear. She's scouting me out. Oh! oh wow, okay. Okay, wow, this is gonna be harder than expected, I think. I guess I do have a lot of medicine to heal with, but God, what? I'm just supposed to avoid that? I'm supposed to be like good at a video game? I don't fucking think so. I'm gonna use an item. I 
Wow, it really uses Final Fantasy noises for the for the medicine. That's so hard to avoid. <laughs> Music be like Ugh How do I even know which direction she's gonna go? That is such a small little amount I can stand in. Looks like you still need some time, girl. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria, what are you saying? I don't understand you. By all means, hello. It was the night before Christmas. All right, back to the hospital. What? Where is this? Is that is that the little girl I saw? No, it's. <laughs> I'm talking about my mitochondria. That doctor, wait! I bet I know where this is going. Mitochondria <laughs> to be free? Oh, to be free. Like a mitochondria. Wait, there's like a- Oh! I skipped the dialogue. Whoops. It probably said nothing important because it was right after a boss fight where something important happened. Oh, okay, I guess... The... Oh, okay, I don't- how do we end up here? What? Whatever. Uh, heavenly save. Heavenly fair. She just said mitochondria. Mitochondria. Oh, geez, surrounded by penises. Oh, no, those are rats. Whoa. I guess I should maybe just shoot one bullet. Well, I, I don't know if it actually makes a difference, though. Unless. Maybe I can shoot one at one and then another at another, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Parasite powers have evolved! Scan! Analyze enemies HP and weakness! Oh, mitochondria. How sad. I was born without mitochondria, so I am different. That's not true. That's a blatant lie that I just tell people to sound cool and important. <laughs> of course, this time it doesn't do enough damage. Whatever. It's fine. Um, item. Turn-based horror game, pretty wild. It's not really even turn-based, but it's like ATB-like, I guess. It's literally the AT meter, so I guess it's more than like, but... What is this large frog-type creature? What do you want from me, large frog-type creature? And why do you hop right before I shoot you? I bet you're gonna stick your tongue- How was I supposed to dodge that? Ridiculous. Alright, we got him. We got that frog! Okay, we have stairs or a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, we got us a gun. Stick your tongue in the mitochondria hole. Where it's supposed to go. Uh, attack. This seems better. Oh, and it has a rate of fire of three. Very exciting. Um, I wonder where I should be going. I'm so scared. 
Okay, I guess it's all connected, so... Should be okay. Uh-oh! Do I have to fight on this silly little U-shape? I do! Damn. Woo! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just real bad at little minute dodges like that. Alright, I guess there's no reason to walk up these things. How sad. What is this? What? Am I just in a sewer? Why is the theater connected to a sewer? I guess it is New York. Everything's connected to the sewer. You're the little girl I saw at the theater. Are you lost? Bye! <laughs> Wait, little girl, don't go! Well, she's gone, sorry. We have like Final Fantasy hiding spots for the chests, too. Offense, plus one. Oh, baby. Use on you. Is that the mitochondria speaking, doinks? Ammo plus six. I am stuck on every texture. See your your little sub badge and stuff disappeared when you said yeah. Mighty suspicious if you ask me. Now they're back. Hmm. Medicine. I got some medicine, don't worry. That's the mitochondria, they're taking over. Uh, I'm gonna use a medicine, because I have a lot of it, and I want to be at full health for the next battle. How does revive work? Restores life when you die, all caps. Whoop. Oh, it's Gobbo Redeem. Oh, they have hook tongues, too. What are they hooking onto with those? Like... You know those silly little things where... It's like a little claw hand type thing, you know? Um, like it's a robot claw and it has a little lever at the end and you squeeze it for like grabbing things off the floor. They have those for tongues. What do they do with those? All right, they can't, oh! I was just gonna say you can't reach me from over there. How wrong I was. Level six. Bing, 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 boom, 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 boom. Random encounters in a horror game, also pretty crazy. There's a switch and an emergency phone. Use the phone. Select the slot. I'll see. Okay. My friend was playing the start of this game the other day, and the only bit I saw them do was, you interact with the gate, and I was like, how the hell did Eve get to the other side? The gate's completely locked! And then you go to the switch, and you press the switch, and then the gate opens. <laughs> My mom would always turn down buying one, but look who accidentally knocked a can behind the dryer washing machine me, and it would <laughs> Perfectly grip it. It do be perfectly gripping. That's what I've been told. The school banned them after a guy held the claw around another kid's neck. What? What the fuck? Eve. 
What kind of claw and claw violence was happening at your school? Hold it right there, NYPD. I'm taking you into custody. You're gonna explain how you get your hair to stick up like that. My body, my body's getting ah! <laughs> I was ready to take me on just by yourself. Well, even if you did have more people with you, they'd just burn, right? Burn, baby, burn. Everyone else but you, you are. Tell me, Eve, why? Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out eventually in caps. Oh, because there's a period. Even if you don't understand, don't worry, your mitochondria will. They've always known. If I played this when I was like 13, I'd have been like, that's so fucking cool. What the hell is a mitochondria? I'm going to give you some time, some time to think, and some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive when you will awaken. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, now we get to see how she goes through these bars. Really silly hair. Oh, wow, she's mighty morphin. Oh! So she didn't use the, she didn't use the gate button. I see. I, I understand now. Boom, boom, boom. This scene took 20 days to render, I bet. You ever think about how they fucking bought a whole rendered farm like a a bunch of computers to render Final Fantasy The Spirits Within. They just needed a whole ass computer farm. Incredible. There are two targets. Oh, thanks. Oh, they built it, I see. Mod Dominic, come on. Uh, attack the tail! It's tail time! Or so I'm told. Whoa! I don't know if I should be attacking the tail, but since they stress there's two targets, I feel like I should take the tail out, you know? Because, you know, the tail is what's attacking me, so if I take the tail out, then I should have a better time in battle, right? Also, that did very little damage when I didn't attack the tail. Oh my god, I got blopped up! I got gulped up! What happened? What just happened? Oh, the tail's dead now, I guess. Ah! <laughs> just sitting there, mouth agape. Silly lizard man. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, I didn't... I, you're not silly. You're kind of silly, honestly. You're a little bit silly, but... Um, let's use our parasite powers. Well, let's scan you. Oh, hell yeah, we got squares in this game. Oh, well, that was a really useful scan. Easily tranquilized, sensitive to heat. Do I have anything to exploit that? I don't think so. I'm gonna use medicine, though. Yeah, this is just what the sewers are like in New York. Sewer gator. I, I guess this is literally a, like, sewer gator joke, huh? We got his ass, though. Level 7 already! KV vest. I'll take it. When I will awaken? Just tell me what you want, Eve! <laughs> We're here live in front of Carnegie Hall, which has become a scene of complete chaos! Miss, you are the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? 
I... What about her boyfriend? Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Please just leave me alone. This incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively. <laughs> Are you crazy? Jim, did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy. Just fucking killed that man. Daniel. I feel like uh, a cop assaulting a reporter is it's, uh, pretty big news. Sorry I'm late, Aya. <laughs> this looks strange. Are you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Yes, oh, but my date. Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. Ha <laughs> ha! So she's not the sole survivor. Uh, sorry your date didn't go very well. <laughs> it's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places, the opera? There's a story. Ha! <laughs> They're going 10,000 miles per hour through the streets of New York, the city where you can drive anywhere at any hour unimpeded. So why the opera, huh? Is that the in thing right now? Saw the ad in the paper, I don't know, just caught my eye. Don't tell me you were on to this case. Ha <laughs> ha, so you finally got some cop instinct in ya, huh? I don't think that's true. Instinct? Mitochondria? Daniel, shouldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. I'm a pig. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. But this is one hell of an incident, huh? <laughs> now she's saying it. It's mitochondria. Mitochondria? Symbiosis? When was I in the hospital? Hey, I, uh, you asleep? Oh well. Her eyes are obviously open, but I like the color of her eyes. Don't blame ya after what you've been through tonight. Going a little fast. Is that the Brooklyn Bridge? It all started with this incident, six days that were to become a nightmare for all. I'd expect a game like this to have voice acting, but... People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. The freaking Brooklyn Bridge! But I will never forget it. It was pure terror, but... It was also six days filled with familiar memories. Is this accurate, New York? Oh, the Twin Towers are there! Not for long. When the mitochondria surface. Fusion, day two. I'll save my progress. I can just do as many save slots as I want. We'll do it. We'll just save another slot. I don't care. Are you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives and no close friends. She was sick often, always on some kind of medication. The people at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on the stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident, so we have no info on her medication. 
Oh, another fire, huh? So, uh, what's this spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on! What did I want of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like this? I believe her. After all, I is the only witness so far. But if you're gonna take on a suspect like that, you'd better ask Baker for a better sidearm. <laughs> I love that they... They're like, oh, well, if you're fighting ESB, you'd better get yourself a bigger gun. I think they're all very accurate New Yorker voices. I read your report. Still had to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're gonna go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department and give this permit to Torres. He'll help you out. Mod permit. We got a permit for modding our mod. Come back later. The weapons department. All of these voices are eventually just gonna merge into a single one when I forget what I was doing, but it's fine. This is some messy cop department you got here. Oh, there's a phone. I can save at this phone. My money's on the mitochondria. I really don't need to save again, but whatever. It's fine. I love saving. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. He already told me about that. I believe her. He already... We had this conversation. I want a new dialogue. God damn it. Get out of my way! They were through it. Alright. Oh wow, what a long hallway. It's warping into the distance. Is this the weapons department? I oh, yeah, you'd better put on your vest too. Can't be too careful. <laughs> At last, it's mine! What is he taking? Oh, this mirror doesn't work. What the fuck? I've been lied to. Can I? Oh, it does. It does. I see. All right. All right. Uh, high defense. That that was not Waluigi. That is a typical New Yorker. Medicine two. Finally. Um, let's take a look at this armor. CM vest, KV vest. Um, 16, 16. So P energy is our magic, I think, but it's like the amount of magic we can use. So I don't know. I do get hit a lot, so maybe I'll go with defense for now. Waluigi doesn't exist. The weapons department! You didn't hit your head last night, did ya? It's right downstairs! We got the computer guy. Talk to me. Give me the info. What a case to have on Christmas, huh? Hmm. 
No, he's typing something important. Wait, can I just go outside without picking up a gun? I can. Whoa, 3D map. Wow. Whoa, it's like we're in New York City. Living it up. Wow, is that... Is that... Uh, that park everybody talks about? Yeah, I bet it is. Whoa! That's stained glass? No, those are just cabinets. Oh yeah, Central Park. That's probably the one. Any New Yorkers and shit? Oh! Oh, that was a weird angle change. Ah, uh, not allowed through here, I guess. This is the prison. <laughs> Sorry, only authorized personnel allowed past here. How are we gonna arrest mitochondria, huh? It's not generally how it works. Have to arrest the whole cell at least. And you can't put a cell in a cell! <laughs> I'm here to talk to you about your mortgage. Um, uh, map. These are the smallest fucking desks I've ever seen. How do they write on those? She's so fucking slow. Why is her stride so long, but she makes no progress? Uh, what's this place? Oh, we got doggies! Hey doggies, what's up? I'm here to liberate you from your cop owners. I love to just watch them, I always come here after my shift to relax. Revitalize your canine. Rupta. Premium <laughs> police dog. It's called Rupta. Ooh, diary. Can I read this? Please let me read this diary. No? Man. She's a cop. She's got to wear pants on the job. Oh, authorized personnel only, weapons department. I literally was sent to the weapons department and you're telling me I can't go in? I have to see someone first, I think. Niley, hello? <laughs> that was my door sound effect. I think I did a good job. Your inventory is full. Uh, let's put the end protector in there. Oh, we got a tool! We do something with that. The tutorial said so. I would never clear my sinuses on stream. Don't be ridiculous. Hey there, good looking! Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy, who knows? What'll it be? Shotgun? Rocket launcher? <laughs> Turned Australian. Y yes, sir. Always a guy named Wayne. Wait, he said baldy, but he has a ponytail. Idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapons storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay, sheesh. Moving so slowly. Torres, I need some equipment. For last night's case, it was quite a mess. 
But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you. But I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. Something about a mitochondria or something. Guess I can't send you off empty-handed. Say you can't carry any more equipment, you dummy! Wayne, put some of the things and put them in storage! You have something to say, officer? D no, no, sir! So you wanna leave something here? Um... Gun. And... CM vest. Really limited storage space, I'm surprised. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if I didn't move anything. Here, yeah, this is the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. Don't I already have this one? Maybe not. All the numbers mean the same thing to me. Captain Baker already notified me. Show me your modification permit again. Ah, uh, sorry, I don't have. I don't have. Oh, here it is. I found it. Which gun? Ah, uh, this is the one. That I wait. Is wait, he gave me a shitty gun. Oh no, wait, yeah, this gun sucks. Why do you give me a worthless wait no, this is the gun he gave me. What what's the F mean? Add slot. Alright, just wait here. All set. Phytochondria. But just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. So true, Torres. <laughs> Don't tell Torres, but you could use your tool to toot up your guns. I forgot the voice I was doing for this guy. You can rearrange equipment parameters and add effects to tweak your equipment. Girls need special girl guns. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. That's definitely not the voice I was doing before. Uh, tune-up icon. Using the tool item, you can add or remove parameters and add effects on your weapon and armor to create a custom of Jarba. Number of added effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots. Wow. Oh, Wayne's doing fine. You got it. Trust me, you can never have too much firepower. Of course, I can't use them without bullet. <laughs> so you better make sure to always have your club. Now, why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Uh, store equipment. Let's select you. Bing. Oh, it's equipped, so I can't. I feel like I should keep the melee weapon on me, you know. Um, I should probably, well, if I can go back to the theater, I don't know if I should, you know, store the keys. I just don't know how to handle this whole inventory management system. I'm gonna keep it on me for now, I guess. Uh, let's let's use my tool. Can't use my tool. Who's equip parameter or effect? Do I just do it here? No, I can't do it here. What the fuck? Trying to use my tool! Is there a special menu for it? Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it, don't you worry. Um, what can I do with you? What in the world is happening here? Add parameter values? 
Parameter will be moved and uh will be lost. What? Parameter will be moved. What do you mean parameter will be moved? Can I add the parameter here? What? I'm so confused. Huh? Well, yeah, whatever. Oh, we got another protector. Don't I already have an end protector that I was not very good? Now take this end protector off me. Uh, this. Okay. I'm very confused by the menus. <laughs> oh, what what is this? Oh, this is where, I, oh right, I can just put random shit in the boxes for some reason. <laughs> can I open this screen? Yeah, ammo, plus six. All right. Don't beam, be don't beam, beam, be don't beam, be don't beam. Your head seems a little off, but pretty decent model. Very long jeans. Like, the highest waist you can possibly achieve on jeans is what she's got here. She's like 80% leg right now with these jeans. Exactly 80%. Can I go in here yet? Ah, shucks. I can't read this text on the wall? What kind of video game is this? Were mom jeans just popular jeans at some point? Is that why moms wear them? Oh, hello, little girl. What's up? Oh, little... Bald boy? Hey there, you lost? Uh... Ben? Daddy! So this is Ben. Oh, so that was him saying Ben, the cop guy, and then the kid said to <laughs> Ben, this is Aya. Now, what are you doing here? Here! Tickets? Oh yeah, the concert. Uh, sorry son, everyone at the concert burst into flames and died. Fine! Ben! Oh, he's running away so quickly too. We'll never catch up to him. It's impossible. Guess every kid needs a mother. That's not true, I was raised by my father too. He just wasn't a fucking pig. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. <laughs> Damn. Alright, I'm still convinced nobody can ever write anything on this desk. This is ridiculous. How are you gonna write anything? You gotta like balance your notebook folded in half and your right with your arm extended fully is no way you can get any work done. Beautiful little drawing on the board though. That's the remix. Where did, uh, what's his name go? You chasing after your son, sir? You give up on him already. Oh yeah, he's gone. That sun ran into the abyss. Also, there is a book on that chair. I want to see if I can read it. It's probably nothing, but... This isn't even a chair, but no, you cannot read it. Wow, 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 wow. 
You met Daniel's son, Ben? Daniel divorced his wife last year. This was before you were assigned here. He kept saying every boy needs a father, so he fought for Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt if he has time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. Is this Captain Baker? Are you Captain Baker? This is Nix. Uh, that's not Captain Baker. Is this Captain Baker? This is Captain Baker. Sir. You were looking for me? Yes, we're having a press conference now and I want you there too. Me? That's right, you'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. But you only answer when I ask you. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. Like a whole theater worth of people getting burned to death. They might even turn you into a suspect, so you let me do the talking, understood? Yes, sir. Okay then, let's go meet the press. And remember, nothing about mitochondria. So are you saying this could be the work of a terrorist? That is what we currently speculate. <laughs> Close the chalkboard. Opera theater incident. Press conference. Captain Baker. De- Oh, Detective Brea. Okay. How about accounts of officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? That was... Oh, I, I missed what Baker said. Another question. And how did Detective Brea survive with so much as a minor burn? That is the result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. She... She... She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. <laughs> ah, here we go. She brought up the freaking mitochondria. I, uh, I told you not to talk about the mitochondria. Who said this? Melissa. No, she said she was Eve. But according to report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body had been taken over by this Eve. What is- what's this Eve? Some kind of alien? People, please, she is still very tired and we are still investigating. That will be all for today. One fucking job. I- uh, I thought I told you not to say anything about the mitochondria. I'm telling the truth, sir. That is not the point! Who's gonna believe you? You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic! Sir, she was only... Oh, phone's ringing. Time to save. Ba Baker here. Who? What? What does he want? Well, put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Meet? You'll have to speak up. Yes, what? Yes, alright. Some Japanese scientist, I think. Couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some Mito something. Says he's coming over here. <laughs> Mito? Is it mitochondria? <laughs> you mean that thing in the cell that makes energy from oxygen? <laughs> Can't fucking take it. Might have heard about that in school. That's what Eve had said. That it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I just read that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking Aya to go talk to this researcher. Go. Better get there before the media may explain that phone call to... Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. 
the mitochondria. That looks like a sketch on the desk. That's really good. Whoever drew that should become a sketch artist. Still can't believe you can't use the D-pad on menus if <laughs> you use analog stick. A terrible feature. Probably R, which is why they drew that. I don't think so. I think that's the old doodle. He's still just talking about ESP. I'll bring the car around. Meet me at the front. Why is everyone always standing in my way? What is on the floor? This place is a mess. I quit. When I worked at Domino's, there was a manager who, when she came in, she would just like keep saying, this place is a mess, over and over until people started cleaning. It was very funny. All right, let's head to the science museum. There are exactly 30 buildings in New York, it's true. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> this part looks like a fake video game. Like, this looks like something that would be in the Sniper too. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. Clamp? What's his area of research? Those buildings really are whizzing by, huh? Also, it's like a one-lane street at his... <laughs> Where are they driving? <laughs> well, according to papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria something. But it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. <laughs> That's odd, to have a PhD in mitochondria and be working in a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh great, we're gonna have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Well, you're kissing his butt. Whoa! It's the American Museum of Natural History, just as I remember it. Is there a helicopter outside of now? Alright, let's go talk to Mr. Mitochondria. It's been a while since I've visited the museum. The world of dinosaurs. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Hmm, looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see what that security guard can do for us. I appreciate them doing like a snowy step sound effect. <laughs> but they sound it even when you're not stepping in the snow, which makes it... ...less convincing. Not at the stop, top of the stairs, though. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> squeaky, scrunchy, scrunkly. Hey there, how you doing? Doing okay. Pretty cold day, though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. 
Did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you, it shouldn't take long. I did the thing where I tilted my drink back too far and spilled on myself. I need a paper towel. Slurps it off my face. It mostly like got in my hair, which sucks. <laughs> it's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out ever. Thanks. Well, let's just look around real quick. Slurps your hair. Just sucking it out. Oh, by the way, could you keep could you sign in? That's policy. Let's keep track of whoever comes. Gee, Dan, are you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebook's on the counter, thanks. Azure, hello. It's, uh, filled with mitochondria, that's for sure. Yeah, that's how museum security guards are. I saw a knight at the museum. All right, let's sign in, I guess. Just my name? Yeah, that should be enough, unless you want to leave your number, too. <laughs> Damn, shooting a shot here. I guess I had signed in. Well, I'm about to head out of here. Hope you two get the information you need. Hey, Aya. Over here. But I want to go in the do not enter area. And the caged off stairs. This is like an intense way to cage off the stairs. <laughs> All right, let's go through this door. I can't. Yeah, his wife left him. He's got no kids. He just wants a, a lady and mom jeans. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. I swear to God, if he's turned into a burnt body. Excuse me? Hello? Hey, Dr. Clamp. Didn't he say a Japanese researcher called? Was it not this guy who called? Dr. Clamp! I hear you. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> I heard, like, face is very cute compared to everything else in this game. It doesn't fit right. <laughs> uh, Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? Eh? What is this again? What is this? People with mechanical keyboards be like. This man, I know him, I think. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Y yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now do you... The suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since you mentioned mitochondria, <laughs> you're hoping you could supply us with some info. <laughs> you have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? That fucking zoom in. The mitochondria possess its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Pa 
Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria, do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because of the mitochondria. Allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between the axons and the dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? And the combustions from last night were... For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. You know the exact number, huh? There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task for the mitochondria. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live. But in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells become the fingers, deter between the fingers deteriorate. That's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than the cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. <laughs> You're doing okay, Wesley. When too many mutant mitochondria... <laughs> Too many mutant mitochondria multiplying is the name of my uh, Dr. Seuss. But I don't have a fucking joke. I just thought it was funny. Energy production levels decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So are we still stupid enough to say we are the highest species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all of this <laughs> consciously, right? <laughs> I said that the mitochondria could mutate ten times faster than normal cells. I also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve! Splendid name, just incredible. Eve! <laughs> the suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve! What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve! Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it. Oh boy. Mitochondria backstory. God damn it. <laughs> He's going even faster. 
What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Aya, looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station, Aya. Hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo. You can't go any faster. You can't. It literally didn't go any faster. Cute slime girl. Oh my god, I tapped my microphone and my monitor flashed. New York City Police Department. Hey, I any news on the case? I hope you bag this creep suit. I don't hate to bump into him on the street. <laughs> That's just how fast he drives. The whole place is going nuts. Wonder what happened. Yeah, that's why there's so many accidents in New York. Let's go, folks. We're starting the meeting. Oh, we're going to the meeting room. Oh, they got a little web chart now. This is the same thing that was on the fucking chart on the board before, though. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for the day. She had disappeared last after last night's incident and the concert was cancelled. But people are still gathered at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen. The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is that, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine! They're at that concert! What? Daniel, we're not through yet! Screw you, Baker, my son's in danger. Daniel. Aya. Aya! Uh, he, he said Aya, not Aya. Saying Aya. Watch his back. Yes, sir. But we just got a break in the case. What was the break in the case we just heard about? He gave me another mod permit, though. That's nice. I guess I should go upgrade my gun again, then. Look at him. Did he wait for me? What? <laughs> Daniel used to be a cab driver, yeah. Then the mitochondria started Uber. Oh, that's the wrong room. Wait, why is there only one dog this time? I need answers here, buddy. This one's retiring after this year. He sure does deserve a break. Ah. But what happened to the other one? Out on duty, I guess? Duty? Why is there a baseball player in the headquartered art gallery? When are you gonna let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. <laughs> really love this character development we're getting here. Sorry, I didn't mean to make a scene, but that goes for you too. You can never be too careful with a gun. Now, uh, you want to upgrade your gun and make it shoot people better? <laughs> All right, just wait here. 
All set. But just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let their guns own you. Man, I could do it so much better. I could turn that gun into a cannon. Easy. You want to leave something here? Um, I think I should probably just keep all this. I can store the keys, though. It's weird that just keys take up inventory space. I wonder if you can discard the key and then just block yourself in the game. Out of the game. Out of the... out of... out of the world. Out of the exit sign. Out of the... Out of this world. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's in here? I forget. Oh, it's the locker room. Locked. Damn. Gotta steal that guy's key. <laughs> All right, let's give us a save, and I think we'll wrap up for now. Play more, but all these New York voices are really killing my throat. I don't know how they talk like that all day. Let's find someone to raid. Someone to braid the hair of. The mitochondria. I guess we should we should have a mitochondria message as the raid message, huh? Seems only only natural. Um, but who to raid? Who to raid? Who to raid? Um, let's watch some Kirby. Natural progression from, uh, mitochondria. Uh, so if you want, you can use the raid message, uh, mitochondria raid. Mitochondrade probably wouldn't come off very well. Yeah, that's why Kirby's just an orb. He doesn't have mitochondria in him. Yeah, so if you want a mitochondria raid, that's your... That's the ticket. All right. Wait. Yeah, Wiggly is a, a sub emote, right? Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um... We'll be playing more Parasite Eve on Thursday. Oh my god, they're at the very end of Kirby. We need to raid right now. I'm playing Goof Troop with Ricky tomorrow. We'll have fun.